Chelsea Hewitt is accusing Ryan Phillip of assault, and her tweets from around the time of the alleged assault hint at significant turmoil. A 21-year-old model, Hewitt filed a civil lawsuit against Philip, 43, for allegedly kicking, punching and throwing her down the stairs. The alleged incident occurred July 4. Philip denies the incident, and on Tuesday, authorities closed the criminal investigation into the matter without filing charges. The actor's rep said in a statement. As a staunch advocate for the health, well-being and equality of women, Ryan is completely devastated by these false allegations. Domestic violence is an incredibly serious issue and fabricated and proven false claims should not be used to unjustly slander the falsely accused. The claims are false. Not so, says Hewitt, who claims that on July 3, Philip had left a party after being ignored by Hewitt and all hell broke loose after. Hewitt alleges that she went to his house with a friend to pack up her things in the early hours of July 4, and a physical altercation ensued. On June 29, Hewitt tweeted that she was having a, really, ugly day. The following day, she cryptically tweeted, why are you, texting me? A day after the alleged assault, the model tweeted, at the end of the day your word is your only clout but everyone's a f king liar anyway, so. I woke up and ate a huge bowl of pasta at 10 am and the whole time I ate it I was like WTFLC but I still didn't stop and now I feel sick. On July 6, she tweeted, you, know there's something wrong when you'd rather sit in silence than sit there with music, later adding. Completely f king broken, right now. That is all. Hewitt claims that she saw Philip, whom she had been dating since April but split from in July, repeatedly abusing drugs. Specifically, a panoply of legal and illegal drugs, including without limitation, cocaine, ecstasy, psychedelic mushrooms, and steroids. The model says Philip increasingly combined these drugs with excessive alcohol consumption, and that it impacted his behavior. As a result, he often exhibited symptoms attendant of drug and alcohol abuse, including mood swings and bouts of anger. A source close to the star, however, claims it was Hewitt who was under the influence July 4, and that he did nothing wrong. Elsie showed up to Ryan's house uninvited and under the influence a few days after he had broken up with her, a source told People. She physically attacked Ryan. She caused a scene and refused to leave his home. As she was removed from the premises, she claims she fell and injured herself. A spokesperson for the Los Angeles Police Department says Hewitt requested and was granted an emergency protective order. The order expired July 12. A report on the incident was forwarded to the Los Angeles City Attorney, who decided not to file criminal charges, as we stated above. Keith Fink, Hewitt's lawyer, dismisses any suggestion that his client had filed the suit simply as a means of obtaining fame and money. She claims he violently threw her down his staircase as hard as he could and then tossed her down the stairs a second time. Hewitt also supplied a number of photos of bruising and injuries, above, below, that she alleges she suffered as a result of the altercation. Hewitt was admitted to Cedars Sinai Medical Center with injuries, and police issued the emergency protective order and filed a report. She claims that she suffered significant chest wall pain, abrasions and severe bruising, and is asking for one million dollars as a result. Again, there are two sides to this story, and Ryan's is that these injuries were not sustained as a result of anything he did to her. The photos may be provocative. But it's important to note that he denies this as the case is still playing out in the legal system. A second source close to the actor tells people that Ryan did not lay a hand on her. He wants to clear all of this up and he will. Stay tuned.